We look to the ancient religions, the sages, the healers, psychologists, scientists, society, our tribes, and family to find peace within ourselves and the outside world. One place to seek are the three main philosophical and organized religions of the Chinese, that of Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism. Lao Tzu was the guiding figure in Taoism, and whether an actual man or a legendary figure is considered the author of the Tao Te Ching. The ancient wisdom taught in the Tao Te Ching emphasizes man's relationship to the manifested and unmanifested cosmos. The Tao Te Ching directs us to look to nature, the physical world we perceive around us, for answers on how we live. But at the same time, to be also aware of that which is behind, the unmanifested, the formless, the unborn. The best way to live is to be like water, for water benefits all things and goes against none of them. It provides for all people and even cleanses those places a man is loath to go. In this way, it is just like Tao. Live in accordance with the nature of things. Build your house on solid ground. Keep your mind still. Be giving, be kind. When speaking, be truthful. When ruling, be just. When working, be one-pointed. When acting, remember, timing is everything. One who lives in accordance with nature does not go against the way of things. He moves in harmony with the present moment, always knowing the truth of just what to do. Today we know more about water than Lao Tzu did when he wrote the Tao Te Ching around 2500 years ago. Yet somehow he understood the essence of what water is and that water is everything to us. Science has brought revelations regarding the amazing molecular organization of water's crystal geometry. Australian scientist Victor Schauberg observed, studied, and realized the remarkable energetic forces in and around water. His credo was to comprehend and emulate nature as we seek to develop a more balanced and sustainable way of life. His studies revolved around water, its natural behavior, and inherent energy. Lao Tzu was interested in the spirit and essence of water, not of its chemical and molecular qualities. He is alluding to the vital essence of water. Yet Victor Schauberger ends up doing the same when he speaks of water's life energy, its life cycle, and ability to take on information, store it, and pass it along to the environment and its surroundings. At its core, water is a polar molecule with a bent geometry that supports the yin and yang principles that hold the manifested universe together. Water's fourth state of matter, that as a crystalline liquid state, gives it the ability to act as a semiconductor to relay messages and process information. In the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu tells us of the seven virtues and explains on seven specific ways how water is connected to these virtues. One, build your house on solid ground. 
Clouds, who is not referring to a physical house. He is referring to our minds and spirits. If our house is to be like water, it needs to be flexible and adaptable. 2. Keep your mind still. Water touches deep memories of our beginnings. Contemplate, relax, surrender, and become formless and shapeless like water. 3. When giving, be kind. Water flows, falls, freezes, melts, evaporates, condenses, drizzles, and pours, moving through and around us. It is a part of all life. Water nurtures all things without judgment or condemnation. 4. When speaking, be truthful. Water is guileless. It adapts, changes form, and reflects its surroundings, yet remains true to its own integrity. 5. When ruling, be just. Water has softness and yet tremendous power. It is neither good nor bad. It rains on everyone, and doing so remains just in its actions. 6. When working, be one-pointed. Water shows an immovable concentration of purpose. It transports, dissolves, cleanses, provides energy, and nourishes all things. 7. When acting, remember timing is everything. Water has effortless action and inaction that manifests differently according to the seasons, except that all things happen in their own time and proper place. <laughs>